Okay, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in the previous videos, we were discussing more about our pains and our feelings. Now, today I want us to look at, you know, how can we differentiate between the two? What's the difference? How can you identify this is an alkin, this is an alkin? Because these cannot easily be differentiated. Okay, so before we get into details, if it's your first time to watch my videos, please subscribe, like and share the video. I would appreciate. Okay, so the test for our king or an okay, this can be called the test for saturation or unsaturation. When you're testing these two, talking about our kings and our kings. We use what is called the bromine test. We use what is called the bromine test. So we test for saturation by using bromine. The color of bromine is brown. The color for bromine is brown in color. So when testing for saturation, if you have been given two substances, you know, the other one, the two test tubes, the other one contains alkane, the other one contains an alkene, you cannot differentiate by looking, okay? You cannot give the difference between uh, the alkane and an alkene. For instance, we talk about the ethene and the phen. So by looking, you cannot tell the difference between these two. So instead, you need to use, you need to test them by using what is called the bromine test. So when testing for saturation, if you want to identify these two, you put these two substances in different test tubes, so or beaker. So you may have a thing in this beaker. You also may have I mean this tube, then in that speaker. So here there is a, a thing. There there is a, a pen. So we want to know which one contains an alkene, which one contains an alkene. So I'm just writing the names so that we can differentiate between the two diagrams. The names usually are not there when they ask you questions. They want you to tell which one is an alkene. So, when you put bromine into these two test tubes, which contains, the other one contains the ethene, the other one contains the ethene, there is a one test tube where we're going to see a rapid change in the bromine color. Now, this is because Earlier on in the last videos, we said the alkenes are more reactive than alkenes. So, unsaturated hydrocarbons are more reactive than saturated. So, in, in a test tube where there is an alkene, you are going to see the rapid change in bromine color showing the chemical reaction taking place. Then, where there is a, you know, an alkene, the reaction will be slow and you cannot notice, notice that immediately but it is noticeable after some time so alkenes react with bromine alkenes react or decolorizes decolorizes from brown to colors, from brown to clear or colors if you want. So our kids decolorize, decolorize the bromine from brown to colors rapidly. Okay, this one occurs very, very fast. So that's how we can test it for our kids. But for our kids, 
the reaction is slow, so you can't see the rapid change. It takes uh, some time. They also decolorize the bromine, but it takes time for them to do that because they are not uh, as reactive as the alkene. So in this case, you would be able to tell that this is an alkene, this is an alkene, because in where there is an alkene, there will be a rapid reaction between bromine and that um, alkene to form bromoalkene. Then in also here, the reaction will be very slow. So that's the difference between the two. This one decalizes brown bromine quickly to clear, then this one, the reaction is slow. So that's how we can tell the difference between an alkene and an alkene. So it's just by using bromine test. Then alkenes decolorize the bromine uh, as fast as possible from brown to colorless, while alkene, the reaction takes place very slow. So you'll be able to differentiate it by using, you know, this kind of test. So sometimes it's called the bromine test. Mean test. Okay. okay, thank you. That's all I have for today. Then in the next video, we'll discuss more about uh, alcohols.